too early. But we're good. Holy shit, I fluked it. Holy fuck, I fluked it. Oh my god, I'm so glad I fluked that ending. Holy shit. Yes, dude, let's go. Hello? Leaderboard? Oh, oh, there it is. Ha, leaderboard. Ha, hello. Yes, leaderboard. Okay. I don't know how many of these people are legit. Um, Voltron's legit, but for some reason Voltron's record got removed from the main leaderboard, which is weird. I don't know why that is. I have no idea how many of these people are legit. I... I was recording, right? Okay, thank god. Oh, dude, I flew the shit out of this level. I had three attempts total make it to the robot. Three. The first one... No, four. Three, four, three, four. Three, four. I had four attempts total make it to the robot. The first one was a death at... No, or was it three? Shit, it might have been three. It was three. Yeah, because my first attempt there, I died at 51. The second attempt there, I died at 63, and the third attempt there, I beat the level. <sighs> okay, alright, so I don't know what this is, second victor, third victor, I have no idea what this is, but wow, this is such a cool level that is so heavily brought down by, like, it's it just, like, it's so weird, because there are parts that feel absolutely free, and then there are three or four clicks in this level that feel... I mean, they're not frame perfect, and you know they're not, but they feel like it. The way that you have to approach them feels like you're approaching the world's most massive choke point, right? Um, every single one of those jumps where you're jumping through the blocks, where there's one, two, one block, two blocks above you, and one block directly to your right, right? Where the negative space is like a Z Tetris piece. I don't know how to, like, describe it, but those jumps are all throughout this level and they're all brutal and there's two or three at the end that are insanely difficult the last one i did is really annoying because you're barely on the ground in time to like visually see the jump so i like never was able to like look at it and line it up i just kind of had to click and hope and i'm so glad i didn't die there because there is there was absolutely a possibility i did and it was pretty much a coin toss um the the head hit um, on the sign that says here at like 48, 9-ish, right before the robot, that head hit and then fall is so, just like too precise, like way too precise. Um, the yellow, the, not yellow, yellow, Jesus Christ, the pink dash orb and then and the, the release and then the jump after that being one of those in, insane block jumps again. Um, just before that head hit at like 47, I want to say, 46, 47, 48, somewhere in there. That was pretty brutal too. I didn't love that. The whole end of the first cube right before the robot felt like a massive, massive difficulty spike. I mean, it was like, it was almost like a, like a 5% long choke point, if that makes any sense. Like, it was just like, oh, it was so bad. What's amazing is in practice, that's how it felt. In normal mode, I like never died there. Rarely, if ever died there i think to the pink dash orb release timing once i don't know i don't remember exactly but yeah um what else is there i'm trying to think of other other things comments about the level i think the concept is insanely cool the deco is really nice i'm so glad coco's getting some recognition because so much of coco stuff is just like fire um the one that i think is actually really cool how i met your mother which is like the funniest fucking name ever this level is just a really cool concept and i think for co for the concept alone i would love to see it rated it's really really interesting um yeah but a lot of coco stuff is super nice i'm so glad they're getting more recognition this level was very very cool i would recommend it if it looks like something that you'd enjoy if you like levels like oops by inside um chancla by heather hayes they all have a very similar kind of gameplay style, right? Where it's a lot of, like, techy stuff. Just, like, really technical, weird, crazy stuff. Um, 
then I, I think you would enjoy this, right? If you enjoyed Want Me by Para, I don't know how you would have... No, I'm kidding. If you enjoyed Want Me by Para, this would be good too, you know, like, like it's it's that vein of thing, but it's it's very unique, it's done in a very different way, it's definitely its own individual level, you can see inspirations, but you, you, can, you can see influences on the level, but as a whole, it's an, it's an incredibly original um, idea, incredibly original level, uh, very cool, would recommend. Uh, yeah, it, I don't think this is list worthy. Um, I know Voltron said it was low list. It's definitely it's not. There's no. It's nowhere near low list. There's no way. Uh, Six forty two on main. And twenty fourteen. That would be twenty six fifty six. Right. Two thousand six hundred four one. Yep. Twenty six fifty six attempts. That's not bad. I'll take that. Yeah, definitely not low list, but this is not a beginner extreme either. Oh my goodness, this is tough. Oh, last thing I want to mention about the level. The optimization is ass, and I don't think it was the priority of the level, which is fine, uh, but I would really, really have loved to have seen a lot more emphasis put on it because the jumps you're doing are insanely precise, and I was dropping about half my frames in that last cube, which is really weird considering it looks like there's nothing on the screen, right? It was so object dense, and I couldn't figure out what it was. I think it was the text. I tried, like, air quotes, LDMifying it to, like, make an LDM version, and I just gave up, because there was just no reasonable way to do it without completely, like, destroying the level. Um, so I, I just, I, yeah, I did. I eventually just gave up on trying to LDM it and just did it on the actual level. Um, this, act this LDM here just makes the level, like, completely black. Like, everything is just dark, uh, which is cool. I guess, whatever, if that's the kind of thing you're into, sure. Um... Yeah, but I will say, word of warning, if you play at anything above, like, 120, prepare for frame drops, especially in the last part. There were a few frame drops in the robot part. Everything before the robot part was fine. The whole first cube was pretty not a problem. Like, I didn't have too many issues. If I dropped frames, it was a little tiny thing. Like, it was never much, right? Um, but the, the robot, you dropped a good... I dropped, like, 80 frames-ish. And the last cube, I dropped, like, half of my frames. It was rough. Um... Yeah, but other than that, very cool level. Super, super, super glad this got rated. Yes, Coco rate. Let's go. All right, I'm going to cut the recording here now. Bye.